What's up, folks? This is Josh back here uh, with another video tonight. Uh, it's Friday night, so we're doing our uh, TNA Impact review, thoughts, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is for Friday, February 20th, 2015. Another good, solid show from TNA, I, I thought. Uh, we opened up the show with Kurt Angle talking. Excuse me, I got a little bit of code. We opened up the show with Kurt Angle talking. And uh, Bobby Lashley uh, says that him and Kurt Angle need to talk. Uh, that's how we opened up the show. Then we go to a great six-man tag match. We have Matt Hardy and the Wolves versus uh, Revolution, James Storm and Abyss, the TNA Tag Champions, and Manic is uh, their partner. Uh, this was a great match, back and forth, high flying moves, great wrestling moves. Not really, well, it really was non stop action. Uh, Matt Hardy and the Wolves would pick up the win. Uh, they would pin Manic. Uh, but this match was, I thought, very, very good. Uh, I enjoyed it. You know, the Wolves are my favorite tag team. Uh, one of my favorite tag teams in wrestling, if not the favorite. And I'm a huge James Storm fan. So this match was really good to me. Uh, definitely, definitely thumbs up for that. Uh, after the match, we would see the Revolution beat down uh, the Wolves and Matt Hardy. And then we would see them take out one of their own in uh, Manic. Uh, they say, I guess it's tough love, as you would say. Uh, but looks like we may. Are we going to have problems in the revolution, or is this a one deal thing, one day thing? We'll only have to wait and see. Uh, but really, really like James Storm, man. He's, he's killer. Uh, anyway, we would go back to more action. Uh, we have EC3 and Tyrus. Uh, they come out, they're mad about last week with Mr. Anderson coming back, and uh, you know so-called beating their ass uh you know ec3 would go into rant and rave uh he's a talented guy but he would just keep on ranting and raving and mr anderson would interrupt and make his uh you know his normal entrance where the microphone would come from the ceiling uh you know they would brawl uh, Spud and Mandrews would beat up EC3. Mr. Anderson and Tyrus would get in the ring. Uh, they would try to cut. Everybody would try to. It's like a fight at the barbershop type deal, I guess. Everybody would try to get their hair cut. But in the end, Tyrus would get his hair cut. Uh, Spud and uh, Mandrews would tie. Would, well, I think they taped him to the, ring, the ropes. And, uh. Mr. Anderson would cut Rose Clay Mohawk, or excuse me, Tyrus's Mohawk. Uh, funny shit. This angle's been going on and on and on. And we'll just have to see uh, where it goes from here. Uh, thought it was a good program. Uh, we have Al Snow and Grado. Uh, we seen the few last week where Al Snow got in uh, Grado's family's face. They would have a one on one match. Uh, all I will say is this. Uh, Al Snow, for his age, can still go. Uh, he's in great shape. Uh, they had a solid match, I thought. Uh, Grado would pick up the win. Uh, Al Snow, you know, he would show his respects. Uh, by about that time, the beatdown clan would hit the ring and, uh, you know, interrupt their little lovely party or whatever they were getting ready to have. Uh, I thought this was built up really good and about that time we see Drew Galloway or some of you guys know him as Drew McIntyre from the WWE uh, he shows up he uh, helps out gets the beat down clean out the ring low key would uh, get a bunch of color from behind his ear uh, good stuff uh, I really like how they put this together uh, Dante did a really good job of putting it together. The whole the whole little angle. 
good stuff from TNA, man. Then we would see Tommy Dreamer. Uh, Tommy Dreamer would come out. He would call out Eric Young. Uh, Eric Young would not come out. So Tommy Dreamer went to the back to look for him. They would brawl in the back. They would come out to the ring. They would ring the bell. We would see chairs. We would see tables. Uh, we would see a little bit of everything. We would see Eric Young biting Tommy Dreamer open. There was lots of color everywhere uh, in this match. Uh, they would both go through a table. Eric Young would pick up the win off a of pile driver. I believe it was on the chair. Pretty sure. Uh, but just good to see uh, some hardcore wrestling on uh, television. Uh, good to see some color. Uh, you know, in other promotions that are on television, we really never get to see any color unless it's accidental. Uh, but Tommy Dreamer and Eric Young beat the fuck out of each other. Lots of blood. Uh, lots of good stuff. Like I said, Eric Young will pick up the win. Uh, then we would go to the 20 man gauntlet match. Uh, the winner will get the number one, will get a shot at the TNA, Bobby Lashley's TNA World Heavyweight title next Friday night on Impact. Uh, here's some of the guys. I didn't get all the guys. I thought I missed two guys somewhere somehow. But here's some of the guys that were in this 20 man, 20 man gauntlet. We have Kenny King, Austin Airy, Crazy Steve. Uh, Jesse from the Bromance, Bram Hoya, Chris Melendez, Mr. Anderson Tyrus, Rockstar Spud, uh, Robbie E from the Bromance, Sonata, Gunner, EC3, Samoa Joe, Loki, MVP, and Angle. Uh, pretty good gauntlet match. Uh, really to uh, shorten this match up a little bit for you. Uh, in the end, it was the Beatdown Clan with Gunner, Austin Aries, and Kurt Angle. Uh, and then there at the end, it was Kurt Angle versus the Beatdown Clan. Uh, Samoa Joe would, would get eliminated. You know, they all would get eliminated. Uh, and it would come down to MVP and Kurt Angle. One of these guys, you know, is going to battle uh, Bobby Lashley next week for that TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Kenny King would distract Kurt Angle from the outside. Uh, when I see the MVP running, I thought for sure Kurt Angle would move out of the way. But, uh, you know, MVP would put the boot to him and eliminate him. And MVP would. Uh, Bobby Lashley, by the way, was watching this match from the outside of the ring. So next week we have t MVP versus Bobby Lashley for the TNA World Heavyweight title. Good stuff. Can't wait. Uh, I really enjoy TNA because they, like I said, once again another week where uh, they're doing good things. Uh, I'm really enjoying TNA. Uh, it's two hours. It's not too long. They don't give you everything at once, but they give you enough good stuff. If that makes sense to what I'm trying to t say. Uh, thumbs up for TNA. Can't wait to next week. Uh, Bobby Lashley versus MVP for the title. I know their shows are taped, but I don't read spoilers. I just go week by week. Uh, this has just been my thoughts on uh, TNA Impact for this week. Uh, be back tomorrow with my WWE Fast Lane predictions. I uh, hope everybody has a good night. Uh, stay warm and stay safe. Peace.